Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are returning, thank you so much uh, for coming back. It means the world to me to have your support. And for those of you who might be new, um, please go ahead if this type of content, um, luxury goods and luxury experiences, designer items, if that's something that you're interested in watching on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe as it would mean a lot to me. But let's just jump right into the review today. Today I am reviewing two of my favorite pair of shoes that I have in my collection. And I wouldn't call them my favorites because they're the ones that make me feel fanciest when I put them on or they're the ones that are drawn to my eye the most. I call these my favorites because they are my work horse shoes in my collection. And they are the Gucci Prince Town loafers and the Gucci Jordan loafers. And I'll grab them here for you in a second to take a look. But, you know, I, I wanted to start by just saying it's funny. I had this, I don't want to call it a misconception, but when I was in my later 20s and my early 30s, which is around the time that I started, you know, focusing on acquiring and investing in designer and luxury items, I was a little against investing in flats for some reason. So whenever I looked at shoes, it was, you know, Christian Louboutin pumps and, um, you know, Manolo Blahniks and, and there's a few others and I'll do some future reviews on them, but it was always high heel special shoes to wear to go out that I would invest in. And when it came to my flats, I pretty much stuck with my sneakers, um, Sam Edelman flats, which are really fantastic. Um, you know, just, just some other ones and, and never really paid that premium price for flats because I feel like I would always wear them out. Oh, back then I would wear a lot of Tory Burch flats as well, um, which are great, a little bit on a higher price point, but not quite the price point of, of Gucci flats. So um, that all changed in my early 30s, mid 30s, I would say. Um, and I was just, I, I tended at the time, you know, I was dating my now husband, um, I was just going out less, I would say, late night, where I would typically put on a pair of high heels. Um, our schedules kind of evolved to where I'm commuting to work, I'm taking the train, I'm walking to the office, and then from there I'm getting home and we're typically going out to dinner right away. So wearing more day to evening um, pieces that I felt good and comfortable in. And I started buying some and investing in some designer flats. And oh my goodness, it's a life changer. I mean, for those of you wanting to get um, the most bang for your buck, and if you're thinking about cost per wear, I have had some Christian Louboutins in my closet that are sitting there. I've worn them a few times, they were so special. I love them. But when it comes to my Gucci flats, I wear them all the time. I would wear them to and from the office, not going into the office anymore. I still throw them on for brunch, for shopping, for meeting up with a girlfriend after work, um, for going out to dinner with my husband or going out to dinner with friends. Um, I still feel like they're dressy enough where if you mix them with the right pieces, they're more nighttime appropriate. But then at the same time, they could be just super casual and you could wear them during the day. But the best part is they're so comfortable and you can wear them all the time, whether it's traveling. I, I, I have worn these on planes before and traveling and it's so great. Like they're so comfortable. They're so easy to wear. They work for almost all occasions. And I just realized if I'm going to spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes, this is the type of shoe I want to spend my money on, a shoe that I could wear all of the time. So let's jump into it. Um, first, I will show you my Gucci Prince Town loafer. So let me grab these for you here. Look at, look at how good they, I wear these all the time and I feel like the soles do not look that bad. Um, I never protected the soles, which is probably an error on my part. I should actually, actually probably go and get them, get them covered just to, just to have them last forever. No, I'm not even going to say probably I'm going to do that. That's on my to-do list. I'm adding it to, uh, to make sure that I'm protecting the soles of these so that I could just wear them forever. But um, look at what great condition these are to be worn around. I used to wear these around Manhattan all the time. I wore them out all the time. I mean, they definitely have some creases on them for sure. Um, they could probably do with some shoe polish, but um, overall, they're still in great condition and have very minimal nicks in terms of walking around and getting those scratches in the leather. I don't have much of those. 
Um, one of the things that draws me to these loafers in particular, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a very preppy dresser, which I feel like if you think loafers, you think a lot of, you know, maybe your mind just goes towards more preppy. I think these can be combined with some more like edgier outfits. Now I'm not, I'm not super edgy by any means, but I'll wear like an any big t-shirt and uh, a pair of jeans and throw these on and wear a cute, a cute belt and a cute bag and I feel super stylish. Um, but at the same time, you could wear them with work pants and look great or a skirt and look awesome. Summer dresses, so cool. Um, spring and fall, when especially in fall when I'm, I'm transitioning to a lot more darker colors and bringing black into the mix a lot more, even though I wear a black year round, so it doesn't matter for me. But um, they, they really just are great for everything. They are so comfortable. You could wear them all day. In terms of comfort, the one thing I would say, I did not wear these very much while I was pregnant because I needed arch support. Um, they don't have the best arch support. So especially being with the open back, I don't know how easy it would be to get an insert to stay in these. You could very well get ones that, that adhere better to the bottom um, if that is something that you absolutely need. But I think these are great. I highly recommend them. I was very fortunate. I bought them quite a few years back. I can't even tell you the year right now. I, it was definitely pre, pre my daughter. So we're talking pre 2019 before I moved here. I 2017, 2018, maybe I got these. Um, and when I did, these were 695. Currently the leather Prince towns in the black, at least, I know they, the, the price varies just depending on the materials that are used. Um, I'm not sure about the colors. I think it's more on, based on the materials, but these retail for $850 now. So they've increased by $155. That is a bit more. Um, however, I would 100%, if, if these were a shoe that let's say I, I kicked them off and I lost them somehow, <laughs> lost my shoes, hey, it, it's something that could happen. Um, if that happened, I would go out tomorrow and buy these again. That's how much I love having them in my collection. I don't wear them in every day anymore. I work remotely. Um, you know, I'm not leaving the house on a daily basis, but I would say on a weekly basis, I probably wear them once every week or once every other week. So I think that's really good use um, considering really I'm not leaving the house all, all that much. And to be honest, most of the time when it's running errands, I'm just throwing sneakers on. So love these shoes, highly recommend them and even would recommend them at the price that they are currently at. So now let me show you the Jordans. Oh, sorry. Before I go into those, really quick sizing on these. So I am typically between an eight and a half and a nine. These are a 39, so a true nine. Um, I read that you should get these about a half size larger because of the length of the shoe. I do agree with that. I don't like to have my foot hanging off the back of the shoe. Um, ever since I've been pregnant, my foot has has expanded slightly um, and it's just not going back at this point because my daughter's three, so they are what they are now. Fortunately, with this shoe in particular, I feel like my foot has really molded with the leather, um, so it gives it a good fit still, but my foot does come right up to the back with the 39s. And like I said, I'm a true between eight and a half and nine. I wear a lot of 30, I wear my go-to size is a 39 when it comes to designer shoes. Um, but some like Christian Louboutin booties, I have a 39 and a half in, um, Stuart Weitzman, I, I kind of tend to lead towards an eight and a half. Um, but I would try these on in the store and see what makes the most sense. I didn't want these slipping off the front of my foot. So I wanted to stay true to size and it's worked out really well for me. So the Jordans. So these are my Jordan loafers. Also, you could see fairly, really good condition. Um, especially if you look at the tips and the leather for having them for a number of years and for wearing them quite often. I actually have these displayed in my closet with those as well on my shoe area. So um, I still have some of the inserts from when I purchased the shoes. So I guess I have it in one and not in the other, but it's there. Um, these shoes I get use out of. I used to get quite a bit more. Um, in terms of sizing, I got the 38 and a halves in these. And honestly, they fit exactly like the 39s in the Princetown. So they fit really nice on my foot. They do not give me blisters. 
Um, these are honestly comfortable pretty much from your first wearing. There's very little breaking in that you have to do with these. Um, and I love the back on these. I love when I bought them at the time, I really love how the back was very structured. Um, they also have the Brixton loafers, which those are the ones that flap down in the back. So you could wear them as a slip on or you could pull it up and have them as a full fitting loafer. Um, and at the time I was really drawn to the Jordans and I didn't have any red shoes in my collection. I normally don't I was wearing these a bit more when, when I lived in Manhattan, I'll be honest about that, but I don't wear shoes that much that stand out in color. I tend to lean towards neutrals, whites, snakeskins, blacks, browns, creams, um, all of those. So at the time I was like, oh, it would be really fun to add a red pair into my collection. And I'll be honest, I wore them more than I thought I would. I really did. And I got them to work with my wardrobe and I'm really excited that these are a different color because I want to wear them more. So it makes me get more experimental with my style, which I, I really appreciate. I always love playing around with what I'm wearing. So I think having these, it actually makes me want to put together outfits to wear red shoes with and experiment with mixing some colors. So they're a lot of fun. Uh, they hold up great. Like I said, with having the back, they do, you don't have to worry about the, the, the Prince towns don't slip off my feet at all. Surprisingly. Um, they stay on really well, but with these, you just have the, I guess the extra, I don't know if I call it comfort, but maybe the extra support, um, on your foot because of having the backings on these. Here's my one, not regret, but my one thing that if I were to buy these now, I think I would probably lean towards the Brixton's. Um, and honestly, I, I don't know if I would get the reds again. They, they served a really good purpose and I still wear them. I, I, I wouldn't get rid of them. I wouldn't re, like try to resell them right now. These ones at the time, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe they were around $7.20 when I got them. And now they retail for $9.20 in the leather. So again, a, a steep increase. I could definitely resell these. Um, they're in really great condition. So. Um, I, I mean, I would probably list them resale for like probably around 500. Um, and the reason I say that is because uh, you can get these at department stores. You can get them at Saks and Nordstrom's and, and Bloomingdale's and stores like that. And sometimes, you know, they do work into the sales and you're able to, to get them for a discount. So I, I mean, when you think about selling luxury items, you really need to think about making it worth the buyers, the buyers, um, like interest or that's the wrong word, but really making it worth their while to, to pay the money. But at the same time, know the commodity that you're getting and comparing it to the price that is on the market so that you're making sure you get a good value for your items and that you're recouping some of the funds. For me, not planning to resell these. I really do like them. Um, but if I were to buy them again, I think I would get the bricks in and I think I would get like a taupe or a cream or a white color. Um, just because I love the casualness that the back on the Brixton's um, bring to the shoe. I, I feel like the one thing about these is, is they do look quite, even though you could break them in and wear them all the time um, and, and you can pair them with more casual outfits, I, I could just imagine that the Brixton's are really comfortable and, um, and, and just kind of add to that casual feel when you're wearing the shoe. So um, if I were to buy these again, which I very well might, <laughs> um, I would probably get a lighter color Brixton and then have all three of them. Um, but in terms of sizing, like I said, if you're a true 39 in most shoes or if you're a true size in most shoes, I went down a half a size in these. I find that the leather really molds to your foot. Um, I never got blisters. They were never too tight on me. Still now after having a child and my feet expanding a little bit, I still feel like they have stayed true to size for me. Um, so I wouldn't go up at all in, in this particular, um, this particular make, I would probably stay at your true size. Um, or even, you know, I wouldn't say go down. I'm between an eight and a half and a nine. So 38 and a half and a 39 really kind of makes sense for, for these two shoes for me in particular. But 
I hope that's helpful today. I hope that's insightful. If you're looking into getting any of the Gucci loafers, highly recommend it. Love these shoes. They're so comfortable. They hold up so well over years and years of wear and you really can wear them at anywhere. So thanks again for watching. Any questions, please comment with them down and below and I'll get back to you soon.